Hello there. Good morning. Welcome to our weekly devotional time. I'm Pastor Maria, pastor at St. Paul ELCA Lutheran Church on US Highway 40 in Altamont. It is a beautiful, sunshiny day today. Shout out to my husband Brent, who is celebrating his birthday today. If you know Brent, uh, Send him a message, tell him happy birthday, he is working today. Or drop a note in the comment section below the video and I would be happy to share those with him. Birthdays are special opportunities uh, to tell people how much we appreciate them. And so today I wanna to talk a little bit about the power of thank you. Do you remember when you were a little kid did your parents or grandparents or aunts and uncles or a cousin or a friend um, teach you uh, to say thank you? I remember teaching my own son and reminding my stepchildren uh, when they would want something. You know, say please. What do we say first? Say please. And then after you receive, say thank you. Right? And we kind of coach little kids through that when they are learning to speak. May I have more cereal, please? Thank you. Yes, please and thank you are really important words in our uh, culture and our language. I also remember as a child growing up that when I would receive a gift, uh, be it my birthday or Christmas or Easter or a holiday, um, handwritten thank yous were a big deal and uh, my mom taught us that thank you mom that we should always write a note of thanks acknowledging especially if we receive something in the mail you know uh, a, a birthday card in the mail with a cash in it we always had to hand write a thank you card um, acknowledging that we received it and then uh, we would share how we might use it and that was just really a way of uh, my mom teaching us to accept a gift and then to say thank you for a gift. You know, uh, it, even when we were at uh, parties or something it, and a gift was given, we would stop after we opened that gift and we would look for that person in the room and we would say, thank you, Grandma, I love my new Barbie doll. Um, or thank you for the new sweater, I love it. And this acknowledgement um, of the simpleness of saying thank you. I've been thinking about that a lot this week as I uh, engage in the scriptures that we'll be hearing this weekend in worship. And so I want to read uh, the Gospel of Luke chapter 17 beginning with verse 11. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And they went, and they were clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, Praising God with a loud voice, he prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, Were not ten made clean? But the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give thanks to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. Ten people in need of uh, healing from this skin condition and are healed. And one returns and tells Jesus, thank you. There's a lot of meat and potatoes in that scripture reading. Um, I just want to focus on the thank you for today the power of that thank you. Jesus acknowledges, where are the others? Why haven't they said thank you? The power of thank you has a way to penetrate a person's heart, soul, and mind to let them know you are appreciated. 
you know, this week I have three cards that I have received. One on Saturday, one on Sunday, and one in the mail yesterday. And every single one of them, well, the front of this one says thank you. In every single one of them, there is at least a line that says thanks or thank you. How do you feel when someone says thank you? How do you feel when you're expecting a acknowledgement or word of thanks and you don't receive it? I would guess that uh, whatever part whatever generation we are a part of, uh, the word thanks and thank you may have a little bit different meaning. <clears throat> I'm, I'm a big fan of the handwritten thank you card, uh, probably because that's what I learned as a child. How often do we thank God? Do we write notes of thanks to God? Maybe you're a journaler and you write down at the beginning or end of your day three things you're thankful for. Or perhaps in your prayers, you say something to the nature of, thank you God for the blessing of this day. You know, in Sunday school here at St. Paul, uh, we teach the kids a simple pattern of learning how to pray. And it goes a little like this. Thank you God for help us or me God with. It's acknowledging all that God has done for us and it's saying, God, I still need your help. Even though you have done this great thing, even though I have been blessed through other people or with an opportunity, um, I still want to say thank you. And I still want to say, I, I still need your help. It's that acknowledgement of... Um, us living in this world and how God comes to us through relying on each other. That's a good thing. That's a great thing. That's many things to give thanks for. So today I want to say thank you. Thank you for uh, joining us for weekly devotional time. Thank you for joining us for worship. Thank you for your presence uh, wherever you are that radiates God's love simply in who you are. I want to say thank you to the dogs who came through the pet blessing last night. Let's see if I can name them all. Um, oh my goodness, forgive me if I forget one. Uh, thank you to um, Sadie and to Lucy and to Quinn, and to Mia, and to Coco, and to Eli, and to Indy, and to um, Loki. Yeah, thank you to Loki. And I probably should have said them in order. Yeah. Oh, thank you to Samantha, who I saw across the street, who I'm going to bless today. Um, thank you. You know, this acknowledgement of thanking God for our pets is a way of connecting us to all of creation. And that's a beautiful thing too. Um, you know, we may go through days where we uh, are having a rough day and we're like, yep, I'm just having such a rough day. I'm having a hard time uh, being optimistic about anything. I've been there. I go there a lot sometimes. But the power of a thank you to think about one, two, or maybe even three things that you can be grateful for each day has a way to soften our hearts, has a way for us to be able to take the blinders off our eyes and out of our ears and to pay attention to all that we have in this world, all that is around us. And so we can give thanks to God. I'd like to encourage you today and perhaps this week, you know, we are going to be entering the season of uh, giving thanks, uh, fall season, uh, approaching Thanksgiving holiday in November. There often seems to be this more amped up um, attention towards being grateful. And so 
I just want to encourage you to maybe start that a little early. Think about it today. Can you name three things that you are thankful for? Could you send a text message to three people thanking them for their presence in your life or a way in which you have been helped or supported in the last week or day or month? Could you grab a piece of paper? It doesn't have to be a fancy card or if you got cards laying around, grab a card. Write three cards this week and say, thank you. Thank you. Take a little time today to say thank you to God. Thank you, God, for the beautiful sunshine. Thank you, God, for this new day. Whenever we do say thank you to God, that is prayer. That is a conversation with God, and God delights in that. I'm not sure exactly what's going to come out in the sermon this weekend for the scripture reading of Luke and with these lepers who are healed and the one who returns to say thank you. I just want to encourage you to know that no matter how much time has passed, saying thank you is still appropriate. So, thank yourself this day. Thank a neighbor. Thank a friend. Let us pray. Holy God, we are so grateful for many things. Forgive us when we miss the opportunity to say thank you, to show our gratitude. God, help us to do better. So for this day, we thank you for the rising of the sun, for the coolness of the breeze, for the sounds around us, for farmers harvesting in the field. God, we thank you for the strength and the courage you gave us yesterday and for the strength and the courage that you will provide us today. God, we thank you for friends and for family for food on our tables, for safety and security. And God, we acknowledge those who live their days without safety and security, without food on their table, who live in fear and with anxiety for the minute, the day, or the hour. And God, we lift to you those who did not see the sunrise this day, who rest in your arms. God, wrap us all in your love. Keep us knit together. Help us to continue to trust and know that you are with us. Whether we are offering you thanks or praise or not, you are with us. May we rise up to seeing you at work in this world. May we rise up to helping to do your work in this world. These things we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today. I would like to extend an invitation to you. If we have not met yet in person or had a conversation, I would love to meet you. Feel free to stop by the church. Uh, give us a call. Leave me a message. I would love to meet you for a meal or coffee or conversation. Join us for worship at St. Paul, 830 on Sunday mornings in our sanctuary where uh, Jesus invites us all to sit at his table and to feast on the Holy Sacrament of Holy Communion. You may also join us online, just like you're finding us here with this video um, on our YouTube channel or Facebook page. God's blessings to you today, tomorrow, and forever. Let the face of the Lord shine upon you with mercy and grace today, tomorrow, and forever. God's peace to you. Have a blessed day.